and you can see from our video right now, bridges and roads are treacherous, both in New York and New Jersey. Flood waters are rising. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim live in Lodi, New Jersey, with a look at the flooding around some parts of the state. Stefan. Well, David, we've been out in Lodi all night, keeping an eye on some trouble spots out here, and this is not even one of those trouble spots. This is Main Street, now closed off by OEM and firefighters, because if you look down the street, way down there, there are multiple vehicles stranded. That pickup truck has a driver in it. We watched him as firefighters jumped out of their vehicles to try to stop him. He very confidently floored it think he can get he can get through this but now he's been stuck out there for more than an hour with no idea if or how he'll get out in Lodi today a rain delay you could say the little league parking lot half full with cars not for a game but for high ground because in a flash the night turned into this stranded on Main Street under several feet of water and then moments later this pickup truck blowing through the barricade despite a firefighter trying to stop him. Now he's stuck too, his pickup floating and spinning in the flood. Sewer drains look like powerful funnels tonight, ripping manholes out of the street. If you didn't know any better, you'd think these were rip currents tearing through town. It is the kind of rain that comes in sideways, the kind of rain that sweeps across parking lots, the kind of rain that makes some drivers think twice. Better safe than sorry. Remember, this guy. Road Cam 7 splashed along as water poured over curbs at a vicious pace. Meanwhile, in Ridgewood, trees toppled over, ripping power lines down with them. And it wasn't any drier in Newark. We're on South Street in the Ironbound District. It was bound by Ida. Now, meanwhile, the mayor of Passaic confirming to us late tonight that one pass, one driver has drowned in their vehicle due to the flooding tonight. All the other passengers in that vehicle, we're told, were treated on scene.